Hi everyone, Jason with Sunly. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how solar panels produce their power versus how you consume your power. It's important when we're talking about this to discuss how it happens on a daily basis as well as an annual basis. When we think about it on a daily basis, solar starts producing power when the sun comes up. It peaks during the midday and holds steady typically through the day as long as there's sunlight. As the sun starts to set in the west, you'll start to see your production fall. The way we consume power typically doesn't match up with that. We consume more power in the morning when we're getting up and getting ready for work, less power during the day, and more in the evening time when everyone's home from work and we're making meals, doing laundry and things like that. A net metering concept allows a solar PV system to work in these conditions. When we're overproducing during the day, we actually earn credits on our bill. For every kilowatt hour of over, overproduction we have, we earn a kilowatt hour of credit. The same happens on an annual basis. In the winter time, solar panels actually produce less power. The days are shorter, so there's less sunlight available, and we're also dealing with less sunlight on a daily basis from clouds and snow. We also factor in how much snow cover you might have on your panels, which will stop them from producing. As we hit spring, you'll start to see your production increase. In the summertime is when we're getting our maximum output, output from our panels. On a net metering system, the credits you earn when you've overproduced in the summer get applied to your winter bills. 